Hey guys, welcome to the Trial Cooking. Hey, today we're going to take that Philly steak and cheese sandwich that I love so much, but we're going to marry it together and we're going to add it to the like the Italian style beef sandwich that you dip in that au jus and make one massive sandwich. Stay tuned. All right, so I'm gonna go over a list of the ingredients, my thought process behind this, and hope you guys bear with me because I think it's gonna be fantastic. I've been wanting to do an authentic Philly steak and cheese, but the point is, I'm just like, you know what? Honestly, it's bread steak with or without onions and cheese whiz. And I'm like, you know me, I just wanna be creative as hell. And I just keep thinking, how can I just up the ante one more piece? So then I started looking at Chicago beef sandwiches. Do I wanna make that? instant i don't know if anybody does it i've tried to do my research but if it's not on a menu somewhere somebody's got to put this on the menu let's go over it i've got my beef here it's that thinly sliced ribeye if you guys follow me on instagram or anywhere else you know i just bought a ton a ton of beef when it was on sale 549 a pound all right i'm gonna take my ribeye we're gonna take the ribeye we're gonna dunk it in our beef stock now this beef stock has been made out of this ribeye the bones and stuff like that but I've, I've upped the flavor up a little bit and uh, I've put some um, rosemary, some Italian herbs in there, just a touch, I mean, just a touch of uh, tomato paste, garlic, because this is where my Italian beef idea comes in. So we're gonna let all this beef, as much as I can fit in there, just simmer away in this stock until it's done. Then we're gonna strain this beef out, put it on the flat top, Add our cheese whiz, some onions on that toasted bread. Oh God. And then we're gonna add our sandwich spread that we had when we were in Chicago. And we're gonna add it with our Jardinia mix. Oh God, you guys know we're so close. It ain't even funny. <laughs> if you knew what that tastes like drool all right it tastes like drool <laughs> <laughs> oh, god i know what it tastes like and it is fantastic all right i just took some of this out i tried to get a good mix of it all i did was just do a quick chop just rough it up a little bit then i add just a little bit of this uh sandwich spread we had this in the chicago area Mix that up a little bit, and that's going to be our sandwich spread right there. Got these beautiful rolls. Just going to cut the tips off. Come about three quarters down the way. Open them up. Just let those go on the flat top. So, like I was saying, basically all I'll do, I've got my onions started just to help up the process, to speed up the process. So I was thinking about like, like I said, doing the original Philly. And I thought to myself, there are so many videos out there about a three ingredient dish. And you know me, I just wanna just make the best possible food, no matter what it is. And if this ain't close, I don't know what it is. When you're taking two iconic classics and you can put them together, what can go wrong? What absolutely can go wrong? I'm gonna tell you right now. Here, taste my finger. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Don't lie for the camera. That's flavorful. <laughs> All right. So this is my thought process. This is getting toasted. I've got my onions started. Just like they would when they're dipping their Italian beef. I'm going to take my beef and start it on the flat top. It's going to get loud, so bear with me.
okay? Let some of that liquid evaporate so we don't have this one soggy mess. Then, like I said, I'm not a big fan of having my sandwich dip in the juice, although I do love the juice. And so we're gonna cheat a little bit. Pour that juice to the side. All right. I'm gonna chop this up because I like mine finely chopped. Hey, let me give you guys one quick tip. I don't know if you saw my seasoning video on how to do this. If not, I'm sure we can put the link up above to uh, show you how to season the, the, uh, the flat top. But here's one secret. When you guys are chopping your beef, or doing anything like burgers or anything with like a sharp utensil, remember, don't go like horizontal. Don't try to carve into the flat top, okay? When you're chopping, try to go straight up and down, if you can, or straight and pull. Let the beef pull itself. If you start going crazy left and right, that's how you dig grooves into your flat top, and it's really, really hard to get out, and the seasoning doesn't adhere as easy. Tip, tick, tip. Tech, tip. Tech, tip. How's that a tech tip? I don't know. It just sounded good. Tip. Tip. All right, Food there tip. we go. Here we go. Culinary oh. tip. There we go. Look at this. Plenty of moisture still left in. Oh, yeah. Crusty buns. Mm. And here we go. So the cheese whiz is what? Part of the Philly style, yes, right? This is the Philly style. I don't know if I got enough cheese. We'll make it work. So that's just canned or jarred. Jarred. Jarred cheese sauce. Now, obviously, the cheese itself, you could do a bunch of different options. You could do, uh, you know, like provolone, American, Swiss. But the, you know, the, the original is just cheese whiz. It's just a quick way for them to do it. Got that thing loaded up with beef. Turn my flat top off. I might not make it to the end of this. Look at Nelly. If her lips she's aren't licking, she ain't my she's... dog. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. We already ready to build it? Oh yeah. If you build it, they will come. All right, guys, so we got that loaded up. Let's bring our jus over. Then we're at our... I didn't go crazy hot on the Jardinera. Not a big... Is that how you say it? I have no idea. <laughs> Dub it out, calling it Ghirardelli's. <laughs> so that was hard to look up on the internet when you're typing in chocolate and nothing would come up. But look at that bad boy right there. Mm, that does look good. <laughs> Here, let's just pause and admire that. Oh, we're going to admire it. And it, oh, that bread just. Oh, shit. <laughs> I don't have to bleep that one out because your mouth is too full. Oh, God. You just found your replacement. I found my replacement. I'm, mm. I've been replaced by a sandwich. God, this is good. This is good. Mmm. Even the damn beef is good. God, the beef is better. The beef is better. It's moist. It's cheesy. The herbs, you get that crunch and the heat. And the um. look, there's our daughter. <laughs> she wants some sandwich. <laughs> hey guys, I hope this video was fun for you guys. Mix it up a little bit. Huh? Say talk. that again. It is so good. I can only think about eating the sandwich. Hey, mix it up a little bit. Come up with a concoction. Take two iconic things, put them together, and you might come up with something like this. Because I'm telling you, this is a classic. New classic. <laughs> We're dipping. Look at that dip. 
Watch that. Dip, baby, dip. Mm. God, this is... Does it even look messy? Mm. 